How you doing, Detective? Another bit? Officer, make sure you canvas the whole area and check with all the neighbors. Yes, sir. Good to go, sir. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to canvas the area. I want you to see if you hear anything last night. And check over here, too, as well. All right, all right. let's go. What have we got here? Failed to do trick. The victim is Jacqueline Gutierrez, 54, current city council member. She's up for re-election. Mm -hmm. Who found her? The gardener. Any next to kin? Yeah, son and daughter. Can a hold of them? On it. Safe to assume she drowned? It appears so, but I won't know for certain until I do a full examination. No signs of struggle. Are we sure this is a homicide? Well, with that chain on her ankle, I doubt that she tied it herself. But you won't know for sure until you get her back to the morgue. Precisely. Let's get her out of there. I think it was great. Yeah, I think they really did good. But that injury. Yeah, I don't know. He's gonna. I think it's a career ending. What do you think that's all about? I don't know. Cooper, in here now. But I think we're about to find out. Kevin, reporters are already clamoring for information. We understand, sir, and we're doing everything we can to solve this as swiftly as possible. The murder of a city council member is a big deal. We understand, sir, and we're doing everything we can to solve this as swiftly as possible. Look, Captain, the media is harassing the mayor, and all we ask is a simple press conference to reassure the people. I don't think that's wise. Why is that, Detective? We're still in the early stages of this case. Releasing any information could jeopardize it. You know, we have concerned citizens who want answers. I understand that. But I can't have the media releasing pertinent information that could extend the life of this investigation. Kevin, I'm receiving tons of pressure from other city council members and concerned citizens. Please. I understand. But Detective Cooper is right. But I am willing to make a brief statement. Thank you, Kevin. Sir, the investigation... It's politics, Coop. Someone threw you in the deep end. Police should call. Water and lungs indicates the victim drowned. Got a time of death? Yep, between midnight and 3 a.m. Toxicology? Still waiting for the results. She'll call when she gets them. Have next to Ken arrived? Break room. Who would do this? That's what we're trying to find out. Did your mother have any enemies? Anyone in her life that would want to harm her? Maybe an angry citizen? An opposing candidate? <sighs> Look, detectives. It's obvious that not everyone agreed with their policies. It's the nature of the job. But nothing worth killing over. Are you sure? What is it? Um, our, 
are dead. Our, our parents recently divorced and it wasn't exactly amicable. And they were running against each other for the city council seat. Thank you both for coming in. Mostly all. No priors. Within the past year before their divorce, officers were sent over to his house for multiple domestic disturbances. According to these reports, neighbors say he made multiple death threats during these screaming matches, including dunking her head underwater and watching her struggle for air. Seems like you finally got her to take the plunge. Well, now it's his turn to hit rock bottom. Bring him in. Do you know why you're here, Mr. Hall? I'm assuming it has something to do with my ex-wife. Well, we found her at the bottom of her pool. Any idea why? Well, I didn't kill her, if that's what you're asking. When was the last time you saw your ex-wife? A few days ago. Mutual charity function. We avoided each other. Really? Neighbors say they heard Miss Gutierrez and an unknown man in an argument last night. Sounded awful. Like those domestic disturbances that were reported? No charges were ever filed. And anyway, I was in a meeting with my campaign manager last night. For how long? Until about 12.30. We left the office and I headed straight for home. Check it. Right now? Yeah. Let's see if your campaign manager can corroborate your story. Tell me, Mr. Hall, why did your meeting run so late? We had several important matters to discuss. Like what? Nothing that is any of your concern. I'm a homicide detective. I do my homework. And do you know what my homework told me, Mr. Hall? You're currently losing the city council race. The other candidates are tough competition. So is Jackie. It must have killed you to see her rising in the polls while you declined. So, you went over there to confront her last night. She already had the house, the car, money. Why couldn't you just have this? You argued, like you always do. And then things just got out of hand. I was with my campaign manager last night. And I'm sure that's gonna check out. But Jackie was killed between midnight and 3 a.m., which gives you plenty of time to go to her house and murder her. I drove straight home. Let me guess, alone? I want my lawyer now. Yeah. All right, all right, thanks. Campaign manager confirmed you met Hall last night, and they both left shortly after midnight. Still gives him enough time to kill his wife. Yeah, but without any evidence, we can't tie him to the crime scene. It's all circumstantial. Did we get a confession? No, sir, but I'm holding it for 24 hours until we get something concrete. And you're sure it's him? <laughs> Bitter divorce? Losing in the polls? Previous domestic problems? He definitely has opportunity and motive. So what's your next move, detectives? Dig into his life. Phone records, bank statements, anything that could tie him to the murder. Cooper. Toxicology's in. You should come down here. Toxicology's in.